In today's video, I will show how to convert a PWM signal from an Arduino or any other microcontroller to an analog 0 to 10 volt signal. Ideal for controlling devices like dimmers, variable speed drives or other equipment that operates on analog inputs. It can work on 12 or 24 volts, up to 30 volts. It's suitable for 3.3 or 5 volt logic. And you only need 7 standard components to build it. I will explain and simulate the circuit. Then I will build and demonstrate how it works using an LED driver with a 0 to 10 volt dimming input. Here you see the schematic. This part here is a low pass filter, which smooths out the PWM signal from the Arduino to a DC voltage. The Arduino PWM signal is 5 volt peak, so on input pin 3 of the LM358 we will get a DC voltage of 0 to 5 volts. If the PWM duty cycle is 0%, it is 0 volt. If it's 50%, we will get half, 2.5 volt. And if the PWM duty cycle is 100%, we will get 5 volts. To get a range of 0 to 10 volt, we add a 2 times amplifier built with this LM358 operational amplifier. The circuit is a standard non-inverting amplifier. The amplification factor is 1 plus R1 divided by R2. So in this case, 2 times. Note that the value of R1 and R2 is not critical. It is the ratio that sets the amplification. So 2 times 33k or even 2 times 100k also works fine. If you use a 3.3 volt MCU, for instance an STM32 or ESP32, you will need 3 times amplification by using R1 equals 20k and R2 equals 10k. Here below you see that the LM358 is powered by pins 4 and 8. You will need at least 12 volts. The maximum operating voltage is 32 volts. The supply voltage will not affect the output voltage. You also see that the LM358 has a second op-amp. Please make sure you connect the inputs, pins 5 and 6, to the ground to prevent the second op-amp from oscillating. Now let's simulate the circuit in LT-SPICE. Here you see the schematic in LT-SPICE. I will leave a link in the description to download the simulation file. It runs in vanilla LT-SPICE version 24. Here I added a current source, which is the bias current of the LED driver. Now let's start the simulation. Now let's have a look at the PWM voltage. Here you see the PWM voltage. It's 300 microseconds on, a period of 1 milliseconds. So this is a 30% PWM signal. Then after the first filtering, you see there's still quite some ripple. You can also see that it takes about 15 milliseconds for the signal to become stable. After the second stage, the signal is much better. Let's see what the value is. So at about 50 milliseconds, we see 1.5 volt, 30% of 5 volt, so that is correct. Now on the output of the op-amp, we see this signal, and if we measure that, that's about 3 volts. Double the value, exactly as we expected. Now let's build the circuit and test it. I built up the circuit on the prototyping PCB. Here's the Arduino as a PWM signal generator. I used an adapted version of the Arduino Faint example. Link is in the description to download the code. You also see a Tridonic LED driver with a 0 to 10 volt dimming input and a 24 volt 50 milliamp auxiliary power supply. This power supply would also be enough to power your Arduino if you add a 5 volt voltage regulator like a 7805. I measure the 0 to 10 volt signal with a multimeter. Now if I set the PWM to 30%, the output signal is 2.83 volts. It's a bit lower because the Arduino 5 volt USB voltage for my PC is low. I measured it and it's only 4.73 volts. 
which explains the difference. Now, if I set the PWM to 10%, the output signal is 0.9 volts. The light dimmed down to the minimum level. Now, if I further reduce the PWM signal to 5%, the light will go to standby. The voltage remains at about 0.6 volts, also at 1% or even at 0%. This is caused by the LED driver bias current circuit. It will not work properly at very low voltages. Without the driver, the voltage actually goes down to about 10 millivolts. So the LM358 is really a very good operational amplifier. So the circuit works as expected. So with a few standard components, you can convert a PWM signal to an analog 0 to 10 volt signal. Now you can control your 0 to 10 volt dimmable lights via a microcontroller. You can dim them and also put the lights in standby if the LED driver has this feature. We have seen that the accuracy of the 0 to 10 volt signal depends on the PWM voltage. If this is a problem for you, you can use a variable resistor for R1 or R2. Also, for 3.3 volt logic, you will need to adapt the amplification to three times by making R1 double the value of R2. So in this case, it would be about 68K for R1 and 33K for R2. I use this circuit for the six downlights in my kitchen since a few years. Here I connected a motion sensor to the Arduino. If motion is detected, the light is set to maximum brightness. If no person is detected for over 3 minutes, the light will dim down to 30%. If for another 10 minutes no motion is detected, it will dim to 0% and the lights will go in standby. I hope this video was useful for you. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave your experiences and tips in the comments.